Hello, this is Vas Experts. Since 2013, we have been developing and implementing traffic control and analysis systems and have already completed one and a half thousand installations in telecommunications operators in various countries around the world. And today we would like to discuss hills, infrastructure that is not profitable, and the act of roaming. Yes, there is a connection. And if you are watching this video, then it is highly probable that you fit this description. Please write to us in the comments if we guessed correctly. Well, if not, then what interested you in this video? So, first answer a few questions. Can your subscribers stay connected outside the operator's network, for example, abroad? What can you offer to a subscriber in locations with poor coverage, for example, in new areas, country houses, or high-rise office buildings? Can you enhance communication, prevent churn quickly? Is it possible to optimize costs while providing connections to remote objects? With a small number of subscribers. And here's how to get out of a situation when many of your subscribers gather in an interesting place for example, at a football match, and everyone immediately wants to post a video with a beautiful goal on Instagram. If you had to answer negatively to at least some of these questions, it is likely that you will face customer churn and additional infrastructure costs. You have good news. It consists in the fact that if you work on fourth or fifth generation networks, and maybe even have already implemented the voice over LTE option, then Wi-Fi calling will solve all these problems, which can be launched on your network using the EPDG solution. Wi-Fi calling is a solution that allows you to make calls and exchange SMS messages over the mobile operator's network outside the coverage area of its base stations, using a connection to any Wi-Fi network. The voice call quality is even better than usual, the same as with voice over LTE. All you need is support for the technology of the mobile operator's network and subscriber phones. Sounds beautiful, but as they say, it's better to see once than to hear a hundred times. Although we are not a mobile operator software developer, in order to test our solutions in real conditions, we had to create our own LTE network in the office. Here is a small developer's base station in front of us. Here is a card reader that can be used to write SIM cards. It is designed specifically for the purpose of writing data onto SIM cards. Located on the table's edge, we can see a GPS module. The laptop houses an entire core of a mobile operator, and our PDG is also installed there, providing comprehensive functionality. In the given situation, we have a pair of phones. Our team has configured special SIM cards for both of them using a card reader that connects to our base station, ensuring smooth communication and seamless functionality. The identical authentication switching process takes place just like it does with a typical telecommunications operator. Well, what can I say? Launching your own mobile network operator turned out to be challenging, but possible. Now let's try to make a call. On our operator, we have the ability to assign any lovely number of any length. I am dialing my colleague Daria, who is located on the third floor, utilizing WLTE technology, and my Wi-Fi is currently switched off. Hello, hi, Stas. Dasha, greetings. May I know your current location, please? I'm in the business center on the third floor. And I'm in my office. Can you hear me well? Yes, perfect. Great. So, we have verified that the Walton technology operates on our operator's network, and now we will attempt to make a call to another colleague utilizing Wi-Fi technology. In order to accomplish this, on the contrary, we disable mobile communication by activating airplane mode and enable Wi-Fi in order to establish a connection. The phone is connected to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi calling is activated, and we initiate a call to our colleague through Wi-Fi, who is presently in the parking lot and also does not have any mobile connection available. Hello, Artem. How is the quality of the audio transmission for you? Here well. I'm currently in the parking lot. How is the parking lot? Listen, there are an abundance of occupied parking spaces. I barely managed to find a place. Goodbye, Artem. Now let's take a closer look at how the PDG solution itself works. What happens during a call? As we showed earlier, the phone must have active VoLTE and Wi-Fi options, but the ability to enable them depends on the operator. Regarding the incoming call, if the phone itself is connected to a Wi-Fi network, it initiates the call through it, meaning the HSS operator understands that the phone is currently available via Wi-Fi through a PDG and directs incoming calls there. At this moment, the Wi-Fi indication appears on the phone. 
After successful authentication, PDG establishes a tunnel with PGW using the GTP protocol and associates it with the previously established IPsec connection between the phone and PDG. Tunnel registration is supported when the phone is connected to Wi-Fi and the phone is prepared to receive or make a call at any time, ensuring constant availability. That is approximately how it works.